Hi, and welcome to this Cisco Meraki tutorial. This time we're going to talk about um, augmented object detection with RTSP on our Meraki MV cameras. As you probably know, Meraki MV cameras are able to detect objects like people or vehicles that are in their field of view. Vehicle detection is specific to our outdoor cameras, so just keep that in mind. The thing is that if you want to recognize objects that are not either people or vehicles, or maybe you want to recognize specific forms of those objects, for example, only people that are wearing face masks or only detect pickup trucks, then you cannot use just the native capabilities of machine learning that the camera has for that purpose. However, uh, recently we released a new functionality which is called Real-Time Streaming Protocol, which essentially allows you to pull a video stream from any of our cameras and pass it through an external system. Uh, for example, you could uh, take the video of a Meraki camera and constantly back it up to a local video recorder. Uh, or you could also pull the video of a Meraki camera to integrate with an access control system so that you can correlate batching events with the associated video uh, for that person that batched in. And the use case that we're going to discuss uh, in this tutorial is uh, the use of analytics uh, with third-party engines to classify objects that are not natively integrated in the detection algorithm of Meraki MV cameras. This capability of using RTSP is available across all of our second-generation cameras, included in the, in the base license, so you don't have to pay extra for this. Um, and you can extract up to two video streams per camera. Now, what we're going to be using is uh, an object detection system, which is open source. It's called YOLO V3. And we're also going to be using Darknet for that purpose for training the neural network that will detect uh, these specific objects. What we are going to be trying to detect is people that are wearing masks and people are not wearing masks, right? And then we're going to use an open source tool, which is called Google Colab, uh, for the purposes of um, training this machine learning system. Now, um, the workflow that we're going to be following basically is a, a Meraki MV camera picking up video uh, from me. Um, and then the camera is going to send that video stream to a web server that I have running on Python using Flask. And then uh, it's going to classify objects and receive a mask, no mask classification from uh, the uh, YOLO V3 classifier. And in the case we detect a no mask situation, we're going to be sending a notification to WebEx Teams. Right? We're going to be sending a notification to WebEx Teams in case we detect someone without a mask on immediately. Now, uh, what we're going to do is that we're going to go to PyCharm where I have the script where I will execute this uh, code on a web server. Um, you will be able to get the code uh, at the end of the video. We're going to give you the link to the Git repository that has uh, all of this information as well as the guide to set it up. Uh, and then I'm going to start running the web server. There it goes. And now we're going to launch a browser, in which we're going to navigate to that location. It's already preloaded with my uh, Meraki dashboard credentials and the uh, camera serial number that I want to extract video from. And I'm going to set it to run. And it's going to start pulling the video from my camera. There we have it. So. It's detecting that I have a mask on. Then if I go on ahead and remove that mask, it will start detecting that I have no mask on at this moment. I will send notifications to my WebEx Teams chatbot that I currently do not have a mask on, right? It's detecting that I have a no mask and it's sending push notifications to my WebEx Teams chatbot uh, with the screenshot that it captured of me not wearing a mask. Okay, so it's uh, very simple to set up. You'll be able to find the code to set this up uh, in those links down there. Where you can see the Git repo uh, and also the setup guide for it. I hope you found it useful and good luck setting it up.
Thanks for your time.